How are we doing guys? Uh, we're looking today at text and tests, chapter 1.3. We're going to be examining uh, page 15 to 17, questions 4, 6, 7, and 17. Um, so to start with, here's question 4. It says A, B and C are three points on the plane given here. Find the slope of AB and the equation of the line 3C that is perpendicular to that line AB. So to find the slope of a line, uh, two ways we can do it. We can say rise over run, okay, which here is going to be 6 over 1. Okay, so you can say the slope here, and that's a positive slope, so that's a slope of 6 over 1, which is 6. Uh, or using the formula, if you label uh, points A and B as x1, y1, x2, y2, you're going to say y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, and that's going to give us 6 over 1 as well. Either way, we're going to get the equation, or sorry, the slope of that line is 6, which means a line that goes through through C and is perpendicular to it uh, will have a slope of this line here, if it's perpendicular, will be minus 1 over 6. Flip the slope upside down, 6 over 1, and put a minus sign in front of it. That's called the negative inverse. So the equation of that line, if it has a slope of minus 1 over 6, and it goes through the point C, which is minus 2, 1, that's your x1, y1. You're going to use your equation of the line formula from the junior set. So you're going to say uh, y minus y1 is 1 equals minus 1 sixth is your slope times x minus x1 is minus 2. Okay, be careful with your minus signs in these questions. Um, I'm going to take two steps here. I'm going to multiply through by 6 and I'm also going to do that minus by minus. So I'm going to get 6y minus 6 equals minus 1 times x that minus by minus gives plus 2 um, okay um, so that's 6y minus 6 is minus x minus 2 I'm going to move everything over to the left hand side and I'm going to get myself um, 6y minus 6 plus x plus 2 equals 0. Okay, so putting all that together, I'm going to finish off over here. x plus 6y minus 4 equals 0. That's the equation of our line. Um, you can also get it in the form y equals mx plus c. So if you get y by itself, so here you'd have y equals, I think, minus 1 sixth x uh, plus 2 over 3 um, if you solved it in the form y equals mx plus c. So there's an alternative answer that will also be correct. Minus 1 over 6x uh, plus 2 over 3. Um, so yeah, there's no right or wrong form. Either of those is fine. Question 6 asks us, find the value of t uh, if the lines 3x plus 4y equals 7 and 2y minus 6 minus tx minus 6 are perpendicular okay so if they're perpendicular that means the slopes are negative inverses like up here or an alternative uh, approach is that the product of the slopes is 1 is minus 1 excuse me so if I take this line minus 1 6 is the slope of the first one multiplied by the slope of the second one is 6 I get minus 1 as my answer. So anytime I do that with two uh, lines that are right, right angles to each other or perpendicular to each other, I'll get minus 1. So here, to get the slope, I'm going to write it in this form, y equals mx plus c, because we know the m is the slope. Okay, so that's the same as 4y is minus 3x plus 7, and then y is minus 3 over 4x uh, plus 7 over 4. Okay, so there's your slope. M1 is minus 3 over 4. Over here, same thing. I'm going to rewrite this um, to get the y's by itself. So 2y equals, I'm going to move this over, tx plus 6. When I move those two terms to the right-hand side. So y equals t over 2x plus 3 when I divide through by 2. 
and there is m2 uh, is t over 2. Okay, so I know that m1 multiplied by m2 is going to be minus 1 because this is the product of perpendicular slopes. That's minus 3 over 4 multiplied by t over 2 equals minus 1. That gives me minus 3t over 8 equals minus 1. Um, and then working through, multiplying through by 8, minus 3t is minus 8. And t then is minus 8 over minus 3, which is the same as 8 over 3. Okay, so there's our value for t. Um, question 7 is going to say, find the value of k if this line here contains the point 3, 1. So if it contains the point, that means you can plug x in and you can plug y in and you'll get 0 as an answer. If you don't get 0 as an answer, it doesn't contain the point. So um, here's our line 2x plus ky minus 8. It contains 3, 1. So you just plug in 2 times 3 plus k times 1 minus 8 equals 0. Okay, that's 6 plus k, take away 8 equals 0, k take away 2 is 0, and k equals 2. Okay, so nothing huge to question 7. Um, and then jumping right down to question 17 for our last one. Uh, question 17 says, the line L1 is 3x minus 2y plus 7 equals 0, the line L2 is 5x plus y plus 3 equals 0, and they intersect at the point P. So when they intersect, to find that point of intersection, it's always solving simultaneous equations. So we're going to solve these simultaneous equations to find P, find the equation of the line through P then as well, uh, which is perpendicular to L2. So we're going to have to find the slope of L2 and then find its perpendicular slope. So here's our two equations. To solve them simultaneously, well, I'd like to make the y's disappear. So I'm going to go for twice L2 um, so that I have two y's there. That's going to be 10x plus 2y plus 6 equals 0. L1 is 3x minus 2y plus 7 equals 0. And what we get here is 13x plus 0 plus 13 equals 0. We'll have 13x plus 13 equals 0. Then x is going to be minus 1. And we have to come back up then and find what value y takes. So you'd say 3 times, well, our new value for x is minus 1. Take away 2y plus 7 equals 0. That's L1. It doesn't matter if you work with L1 or L2 or what version of the equations you work with, as long as you plug in minus 1 for x. So that's going to give us minus 3, and I'm just going to separate this out, minus 3 minus 2y uh, plus 7 equals 0. Um, so let's see, that's minus 2y plus 4 equals 0. Uh, 4 then, moving the 2y over is the same as 2y, and we get that y equals 2. So our point P is uh, minus 1 for x and 2 for y. The question then said, find the equation of the line through P perpendicular to L2 to this line here. <coughs> Excuse me. So L2, um, which is 5x plus y, plus 3 equals 0 can also be written as y is minus 5x minus 3. Okay, that's moving the 5x and the 3 to the right hand side and that tells us that it has slope of minus 5. So the perpendicular slope is going to be plus, okay, and 1 over 5. So the negative inverse, so flip the five, minus 5 over 1, you could call that, flip it upside down, change the sign, plus 1 over 5. So it's an equation of the line with this point and this slope, well, that's going to be um, y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. So y minus y1 is 2 is uh, one fifth of x minus x1. Be careful, you can minus by a minus there, so it's going to be plus 1. Okay, so multiplying through by 5, we get 5y minus 10 equals, and I'm going to leave that 1 there, but minus by minus, I'm going to change to a plus 1. Okay, so um, hopefully you're happy enough for me to move that over 1x plus 1. So I'm going to say, uh, actually I'll leave that where it is. I'll put the 0 here. So that's 1x plus 1 
plus 1, and I move that over, minus 5x plus 10, and the equation of the line we're looking for is, that should have been a y, excuse me, uh, x minus 5y uh, plus 11 equals 0. Okay. So there's 17. Uh, what I'd like you to do this evening is, on page 15, could you do questions 1 to 3, please? Uh, tomorrow in class, on pages 16 and 17, we're going to look at questions 5, 8, 11, 12, 14, 16, and 18. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.